What's up? This is GP75 Motorsports here, and welcome back to another Skyrim video. Um, this is. Yeah, I know. Um, but anyway, so yeah, this is the first. Um, yeah, thank you. So yeah, this is the first uh, or the second of. Probably three or four parts of our review of the Immersive Cities mod. Uh, one thing that I forgot to mention, uh, and yeah, but in case you're wondering, both this episode and the last episode do tie into Quest for the Crown. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, uh, if I, if these people just kindly hush. Uh, but anyway, so yeah. This is also the second of probably three or four parts of my review of the uh, Immersive Cities mod for Whiterun. Uh, and in the future, there are going to be more uh, cities in the Immersive Cities mod, but for now, right, uh, Whiterun is the only one. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> so yeah, here we are at Dragon's Reach. And, um, this appears to be the only place, I'm not sure if this little area here was there before, but this appears to be the only place that hasn't been touched by the Immersive Cities mod. Uh, so, yeah. There isn't really a list of all the interiors that have been added in the Immersive Cities mod, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go... And we are going to look for interiors, basically, in A, I don't recognize, we're going to go in and explore. Um, so what is this? Temple of Kinnereth? I've already been there. House Greymane? Who hasn't been there? I do not recognize this. It's sort of a... Hmm. It's a demolished house that White Run really needs to take care of. Get that fixed up. I just fell off. Fail. <laughs> what a fail. That was seriously. So see if I can jump down into it. And, uh, no, I'm not going to be able to. Hmm. So what's this around here? Yeah, all of this sort of uh, guard walkway has been added. I don't know how in the world he sees anything. Uh, maybe he's just looking over there. Um, yeah, she, my bad. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm definitely liking all this. I mean, this just makes White Run so much more immersive and realistic. I think. Because medieval cities, they they definitely looked a little bit grungier than what Skyrim has in the vanilla game. So, what is this? Hmm. Uthgird's house. And, uh, Carlotta Valentia's house. Yeah, ooh. What's all this? This is sort of a, a, a warehouse, almost. Look at all these. Yeah, this must be where the merchants store all their goods. Makes sense. Yeah, East Empire Company, you can see that they've probably gotten these shipped in from maybe Whiterun or Solitude. I mean, not Whiterun, uh, Windhelm or Solitude. Um, uh, an empty barrel. Uh, basket. War Maidens. Oh, what are these interiors? Were these here before? I don't think they were. Must have been. Yeah, yeah. Lava the Feeble. And yeah, she's just gonna keep going in. Now, Bergrit, why... What are you doing, Silurian? Huh? Huh? You're cheating! You're cheating on your husband! 
Oh. Some more, uh, merchants. Hmm, cool. Probably your gray maze moved your stall here. Um. Hmm. A couple of strangely placed, uh, strangely placed stalls. Hmm. Oh, this is, uh, Spell Tome Healing, Conjure Familiar, uh, Flames and Candlelight. I don't need any of them, and besides, I, don't, I would never think of stealing. I am, after all, a knight. <laughs> yeah, um, in case you haven't noticed, the Civil War's now over. Yeah. What was this? This is a... Oh, what? Yes. A prisoner? Not here. Eh, hey, he's had a pretty bad day, I'd say. Uh, what's this? Oh. Oh yeah, this is the Bannered Mare. Um, they've, uh... They've uh, added, as you can see, sort of an outdoor terrace, so... And they've linked it up with this house. Was this here before? Uh, this is... Pastries and cheese. What time is it? 5.48. Why is it locked, I wonder? Hmm, odd. Uh, and this is... Guard barracks. As you can see, it's been built up a little, I think. I don't know, I never paid that, that much attention to this area of the wall. <laughs> so yeah, pastries and cheese is a little bit oddly placed. To get, to get from the main road, you have to jump over this, and then step on these flowers here, and then jump onto the Bannered Mare's Terrace, and walking into the pastries and cheese store. So I'm going to wait 12 hours. Hopefully it'll be open. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Somebody just went in. Uh, I'm going to wait two more hours. Uh, I'm gonna, uh, oh. okay, I'm gonna save it, even though it all saves, still, when I, uh, when I wait, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna save it, and then I'm going to unlock it. Hmm, okay, so it's a little, uh, unfinished looking. And there's not a merchant, but uh, looks uh, looks. I'm sending word to the York strongholds that you're to be trusted. You should be welcome there now. Okay, thanks. Can I? Are you a functioning merchant? May your next fight bring you victory, friend. Nope. Hmm. I'm just going to do you a little favor and put this cheese. I'm putting it on your table, dude. There. Looks a lot better now. Okay, so yeah, I thought there's going to be a little bit more meat to this mod. Which is why I thought there were going to be like three or four different, uh... Like three or four different parts. Um, yeah. Could you free that guy? What is, what am I, oh. Yeah, this is a little bit familiar. I've definitely seen one of these before. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, they also had those in medieval times, but you didn't know that. Actually, if you're a fan of fantasy, then you did know that. Uh, but anyway. 
That appears to be the only custom interior. So far, they are working on uh, version 1.2. At least that's the most. Uh, that's the most. Uh, that's the only one in White Run proper. There may be some more. Uh, there may be some more out in the outskirts, maybe. Uh, so let's go check that out. Carla Valentia. I still think this is pretty cool here. He's definitely uh, shows you where the merchants get all their stuff. You know what? I've got to see the view from there. Okay, here we go. Up onto here. And, uh... On to here. And here. And... Ooh, yeah. It's a pretty good view. What's this? Okay, it just goes down. And, uh, what's that? Hmm. I don't recognize that. Uh, then again, I have recently uninstalled Castle Darkoon, as you can see over there. Uh, so that may just be some of the distant terrain that left behind. Okay, you just went through that door. And I have no idea why, but I'm gonna go and follow him. Where are we now? Okay, we're just... Okay, we're right beside the gate. And just checking this out, seeing if there's anything here. There isn't... There really needs to be a guard here, though, I think. If you ever wanted to beat someone up, then this is the perfect place to drag them into, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so yeah. Going back to Skyrim. Or to the outskirts. So, yeah, come on. Come on. Come on, come on. It takes quite a while for it to load because it's got so much stuff. So, yeah. Um, no actual... Well, one actual interior added, but dare I say it, a lot of a whole lot of other interesting stuff too. I mean, aside from the catapults, <laughs> um, yeah. So what they're gonna do in the next uh, version? It's basically going to be even bigger than this, if you can imagine. Um, yeah, a whole lot of more custom interiors, just a whole lot more stuff than is coming up in the next version, so um, I'm going to be interested in seeing what's up with that. Um, I still think that uh, of all the stuff added by this mod, aside from the catapults, uh, this area here, this sort of slum um, merchant's platform is the best, uh, the best, uh, the best area added. And, oh yeah, the Khajiit caravans actually can camp inside the walls now, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, uh, I bet, I bet they feel a whole lot safer inside these walls. Um, so yeah, they're... They're going to add more merchants here in the next few versions, obviously. Um, I mean, right now we've got, what, one merchant, I mean, two, two, mer two, three merchants. And we've got quite a few more stalls. As you can see, most of them still don't have wares on them yet, but they'll change in the next few versions. I wonder what this stall sells. Uh, so, 
Looks like it sells a whole lot of liquor. Hmm. There's also a bench, a couple of benches. Well, this is pretty cool. And a shrine of Zenithar, no less. I mean, usually when uh, when a shrine is had by uh, Mod, it's like a shrine of Talos or a shrine of uh, of Mara, not a shrine of Zenithar. That's uh, that's unusual, at least in my experience. Uh, anyway, so yeah, this part is officially going on over, uh, 15 minutes now, so, uh, I'm going to start wrapping it up here. Uh, if you like the video, then the link in the description, the link is going to be in the description below, uh, it's going to be on Skyrim Nexus, so what was this? Uh, so yeah, uh, the link to the mod is going to be in the Skyrim Nexus, uh, so... I mean, it's going to be in the description, and it's going to lead to the Skyrim Nexus. Uh, so, feel free to go over there and endorse it and vote for it. And if you like what you see, then uh, then give it a download. And uh, if you like the video, then um, uh, comment, uh, favorite, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next part as we go back to uh, as we go back to. River Helm to collect our Saturn, to collect our salary, and hopefully make some of our loss back. Uh, so yeah, uh, GP75 out.